values, which sometimes conflict with our more conservative nature as Africans. Mm -hmm. And I remember that even when uh, President Obama mm -hmm. came to Kenya, and uh, he tried introducing uh, a, a different kind of conversation that our then president uh, Uhuru Kenyatta was not comfortable with mm -hmm. about the rebel, rebel, liberal nature of society and how rights of certain groups of people should be respected. Yeah. There's also the issue of abortion and whether uh, women should be allowed to choose whether or not to keep a pregnancy. Now, those are very strong conversations yeah. there. Yeah. In Kenya, we are very slow to adopt these things. We've seen what has happened with Uganda with the enactment of laws that go against uh, certain things in uh, American norms. Uh, do you think that a democratic uh, president or a president for the <coughs> Democratic Party in America could probably influence us in a different way now that we already say this, the, 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 yeah. the, the, the relationship between this administration and the current administration, Joe Biden, is actually a very close one. Yeah. Well, as uh, my brother Philip Kisi has said, the <coughs> basic principle of international relations is that um, whatever you do is in the interest of the person doing it. And uh, Yes, America, they mind about their own issues, and uh, rightly so, uh, because uh, that is what is required. But uh, as Kenya, we have our own things to do, and um, Republicans usually are not so keen to what is happening here, mm -hmm. here in Kenya. But what I know is that um, the American nation is a best setter for many of the things, apart from, of course, what you've just said about um, issues of uh, same-sex marriage and, and so forth. But in terms of uh, democratic space, uh, Democrats are uh, more keen to know what is happening in Africa and how it impacts on their own uh, economy and their own issues. And this, therefore, means um, at the end of the day, uh, a win by uh, Hamala Harris for me, it's going to be a positive thing in the sense that they are more concerned about what is going on in Africa. And the things that I'm keen on is governance and the issue of uh, democracy. And of course, the issue of human rights, because you cannot talk of democracy without talking about human rights. Uh, issues like abduction, mm -hmm. extrajudicial killing, those are things that uh, a serious American leader is likely to focus and I know Hamela Harris is going to deal with those issues and we just pray for her. Okay. Yep. When I guess yes, that, that issue of uh, abductions and uh, extrajudicial killings is a big headline in Kenya today. It's on the front page of the standard in security storm. So Kenyan human rights record facing intense scrutiny as both citizens and international allies sound the alarm of a surge in abductions and forced disappearances and killings. The West is pressuring Kenya to uphold democratic principles and protect civil liberties amidst mounting tension and calls for accountability from rights groups and diplomats alike. Uh, are we saying that uh, if uh, probably it changes